Then the mountains tremble and the seas rumble. In the southeastern fringes of Ghana. If you give a duck a chance, it will prefer to fly like a kite. While if you uncover secrets of life, For that, I hear the wretched stories of wars every day from sun up to sundown turn me into a gorilla. This poem is called What Has to Be Must Be. Hewn by fine spirits and given to an unwanted mother and left to sparkle on a stone by a rumbling river. Picked by gentle hands like feathers, placed on fine cotton and topped with fine kisses, the abandoned child is now queen in the city where under the frowning sun she was left to die before the eyes of cycling mountain. The vital essence permeates the universe and from the beginning was made flesh. So it may be ordained that there is a time for everything under the spreading sun. So this poem is simply talking about the vital essence that permeates everything in the world and it says that sometimes people and things are hewn with an advantage by spirits and forces that are beyond the contemplations of man and probably the obvious forces that lurk around earth. Like this child in this poem was hewn by fine spirits and abandoned on a rock. And then, a woman who was supposed to like her, didn't like her. And, and then, someone else picked her up. The person who picked her up was a queen, in a way, because she had to place feathery hands upon the child, and the child now is living as a queen. A kind of story that could well suit with the biblical story of Moses. But then, that reiterates the fact that in life, no matter where you find yourself, there's a possibility of you escaping and being strong, even though there are forces acting against you, if nature is with you. So nature, or what people call destiny, plays a role in people's lives. And sometimes it plays a very big role in such a manner that strong forces are made to be nothing or just supportive forces that lurk around the universal force which some people call the vital force or God. Then the mountains tremble and the seas rumble in the southeastern fringes of Ghana. If you give a duck a chance, 
it will prefer to fly like a kite, while it will uncover secrets of life. For that, I hear the wretched stories of walls every day from sunup to sundown turn me into a gorilla. <laughs> 